It's a big day in Pontiac, as we've been talking about all week. Motor Bella opens to the public that reimagined auto show taking place outdoors, which means it's subject to the elements and the rain we had the last couple of days. It's at the M1 concourse in Pontiac, and despite the weather, Rob Maloney is out there once again live today with a look at how things are going to kick off the public day. Well, Rhonda, we're dry. And that's the good news. It's a little chilly out here if you are tied to that summertime weather. But if you put on a jacket, it's great. And in fact, it, we only had a little bit of a drizzle here this morning. And people have been coming in in sizable numbers. I mean, they're not packed. It's not out the door. But there are a lot of people here coming out to check out the auto show. Let's take a look at what we've uh, been watching here this morning. And one of the things that uh, we can tell you is that uh, a, a lot of people have been here, especially since the early morning hours, uh, as they were uh, trying to make sure that the the event is ready for people. And so, like, for instance, that Ford tent that went down yesterday is still here. Uh, they decided to just leave it where it was because it was going to be too much work to take it out. Uh, but they're trying to get to a lot of the ride and drive uh, events that haven't been available up and running. The uh, Jeep and Ram drive is not quite ready yet, but there is stuff running on the inside of the auto show, uh, the Bronco ride and so forth. A lot of people here looking to uh, have a great time and enjoy an auto show for the first time in two and a half years. Now, uh, Frank Buscemi is the guy who is the spokesperson for Motor Bella. And we also had a chance to talk to Earl Perry, a Pontiac resident, to get their reaction to where we stand this time at noontime. We're getting there. We got everything cleaned up. The team did a phenomenal job to get open today. We've got people on the property walking through the exhibits. The track will be running. The Bronco exhibit will be running. A lot of uh, a lot of work was done to get the place cleaned up and dried out as much as we could. The weather cooperated to the point where we could get things dried out. Uh, we're working on the off-road area right now, and we'll have that ready for the weekend. The show is, is nice. Unfortunately, we, the weather stopped a, a lot of things, but. We out here and we enjoying it, the food. We just got some food, so we're gonna taste it and see how it is. <laughs> a lot of different trucks out here, the food trucks certainly. And as you look here, they've got a vacuum truck that is gonna be pulling the water out of the lagoon that formed on the inside of the Jeep and Ram uh, event here. They've got some earth moving equipment and the hope is that they can get the thing back in shape and get the vehicles running here, if not today, by the start of tomorrow. But again, a lot of people out here, a lot of people enjoying it. We'll have more coming up on Local 4 News at 5 and 6. Reporting live from Pontiac, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Sounds good, and it's just going to get better day after day, at least in the weather department, which the experience should as well. Looks like Rod's having a good time out there. Thank you, Rod. <laughs> He's got a lot of friends in the automotive industry.